Hello. Well, after producing 65 of these videos on a near weekly basis, in the spring of 22, uh, I completely fell off the horse, if you like. It took me about 10 weeks to get to number 66, uh, and then it's taken me at least probably another 15 or maybe even 20 weeks to get to this, episode number 67. It's not that I've been uh, very much busier than before. I've been crazily busy for about three years now but it just goes to show that habits really do make things easier. So here I am trying to recreate the habit of doing regular videos. Let's see. Uh, I do keep running into people who tell me that uh, they've seen and enjoyed them. So that's something that uh, hopefully can push me along. At this time, I want to talk about how it's more useful today to think about data as oxygen rather than to think of it as oil. Against the backdrop of more than two years of industry volatility and uncertainty, IDC benchmark research shows that the 24% of organizations that demonstrate strong enterprise intelligence experience outsized outcomes in terms of revenue growth and time to market. What does that mean? Well, IDC defines enterprise intelligence as an organization's ability to effectively locate and integrate data combined with its ability to use that data to create and deliver insights wherever they're needed, and its ability to continuously learn how to improve using those insights. And those with strong enterprise intelligence capabilities were 2.7 times more likely to report significant improvements in revenue growth through 2020 and 21 than those without and they were 3.6 times more likely to report significantly improved time to market than those without. And industry volatility and uncertainty, they're not likely to go away anytime soon. Organizations must work to increase their enterprise intelligence as a matter of urgency. And doing this effectively means embracing new ways of thinking about and working with data. And as I'm sure you've seen, commentators often talk of data as the new oil. But I'm here to say that I think this way of thinking about data and its value is both outdated and unhelpful. As when I think about oil, I think of something that's extracted out of the ground and then it's turned into something of value and then it's discarded. It's a linear one way process. But I think we need to think about data as being like oxygen. Because, firstly, in today's digital age, data is everywhere. It's not sort of stuck deep in the ground. As enterprise products and services, customer experiences, decisions, business processes, all become digitized. They all create data that's easy to tap into. Data does not need to be extracted from hard to reach places. Secondly, data is a fundamental requirement for life for kind of enterprise health and performance. An enterprise activity creates data, just as in the natural world, animal and plant life work in harmony to create and consume oxygen in a perpetual cycle. Digitized activities both create and consume data perpetually. And also, just as the oxygen we use is not only created by plants in our own garden, but by all plants everywhere, Useful data isn't just created by your own enterprise activities. It's also created by the activities of your customers, your partners, your suppliers and others in broader ecosystems. And last but not least, in high concentrations, data, just like oxygen, brings risks that need to be carefully managed. Senior enterprise leaders with responsibility for data have a critical role to play in guiding organizations to deliver value from data differently. Um, they need to be doing it efficiently, effectively and safely though. And as data proliferates and as new opportunities to derive value from data proliferate, data leaders must work to create platforms and cultures that can successfully balance innovation with governance in an integrated way across all types and forms of relevant data. Thinking of data like oxygen 
as part of a perpetual cycle that sustains growth and transformation is really helpful in this endeavor because it helps organizations to think about the importance of sustaining that health uh, and the health of that cycle over time and to realize that data isn't just the compressed skeletons of last year's dinosaur business transactions. It's all around us. It's waiting to be breathed in and used. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and share, and I promise I will see you again soon.